If I prompted you to name the most powerful and popular hair dryer by a company that also makes vacuums, there's one brand you'd probably think of. But the hair dryer market is surprisingly busy with lots of players all vying for your hard earned hair drying dollars. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com, and while you'd probably name Dyson as your hair dryer and vacuum maker, Shark has stepped up to the plate with its new hair dryer, the Shark Hyper Air. In this review, I'll take a look at how fast and how well the Hyper Air dries, how easy it is to use, if the special concentrator nozzle works well, and if overall I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And if you ever want to read, reference, or share this topic, you can find the full write-up at techgadgetscanada.com. What's so special about Shark Hyper Air? The most appealing thing about this dryer is how it tries to match the Dyson Supersonic while still making the price more attractive. If you compare the Shark Hyper Air at about 299 Canadian against the Dyson Supersonic for 499 Canadian, you're going to save a lot of money. Dyson does have that sleek and sexy thing going on, while the Shark looks a bit more utilitarian with a wider barrel, but it still manages to give you a semi-premium aura. Also, like the Dyson Supersonic, the Shark Hyper Air really lives up to its hyper claims with its powerful 1600 watt motor, which is the same power, by the way, as the Dyson. Using the Shark Hyper Air isn't difficult. After turning on the dryer through the button on the back of the handle, you can cycle through three fan speeds with one button on the rear of the barrel and through three temperature settings easily with the adjacent button. Next to each setting is a trio of light indicators to help you easily check the dryer's current setting. You can also find the cold shot button on the front of the handle. There's a special attachment that comes with the dryer called the two-in-one concentrator, which uses a slider to select between what are called pre-styling and precision styling modes. Using the pre-styling setting retracts the nozzle, expanding the amount of space air can pass through. This is the ideal setting for rough drying or untangling. The precision styling mode covers a smaller and more concentrated area, providing more control over shaping and bending. You can also rotate the entire two-in-one nozzle to keep it better aligned lined with your brush. I spent a couple of weeks with the hair dryer and used it both with that concentrator nozzle and without. I found the dryer to be really powerful, almost too much so when used at high power. The air absolutely blasts out of the nozzle with force and even though I was hoping that could speed up my drying, it was a bit much, so my preferred setting was actually one level down from full blast. The Hyper Air isn't too heavy and I was easily able to hold it up during my drying time. The Shark Hyper Air was able to rough dry my hair in a very quick four and a half minutes. Further smoothing and sectioning took about another three or four minutes and this is about twice as long as Dyson's dry time during my testing and you can check out more about this in my review of the Dyson Supersonic but even so it is pretty quick. The concentrator nozzle seemed to work pretty well at directing airflow for more precise styling. It was a bit awkward to have to twist that nozzle to get the right angle and using the lever to adjust the airflow, but that would probably come with time. I found that for the most part my hair came out soft and smooth and decently bouncy, and I think I can chalk that up to the ionization technology that's designed to beat frizz. It's common technology in hair dryers, so it is good to see Shark hasn't forgotten the basics. My results were lacking some of that smooth as glass sheen that I do get with the Dyson Supersonic, but for those who've not had the opportunity to use both, you'd probably never notice. Overall, the dryer seems quite capable. The Shark Hyper Air, by the way, has an 8.2 foot or 2.5 meter power cord, which was more than long enough for my bathroom use. The Shark Hyper Air hairdryer is a practical choice for many people who don't have extra money to spend on a brand name or higher performance. Now, while it's not as sexy as something like the Dyson Supersonic, for example, it is a capable dryer. It dried my hair really quickly and gave me a nice smooth blowout. It's compact and light enough and it's got a long cord. 
Downsides, it may be missing some of the finer points of that smooth as glass blow dry, and the motor is probably a little bit on the noisy side. Plus, manipulating the concentrator nozzle's lever while holding the dryer and a hairbrush might be a bit of a challenge for some. Now, those minor points aside, I think the Shark Hyper Air is a good dryer for the money. It sells for about $230, which is about half the cost or maybe less than the price of a Dyson, money you can otherwise spend on other hair tools, product, or trims. You can get this dryer from Amazon or Best Buy in Canada. If you want to compare the Shark to some other hair dryers, I've reviewed several. You can check out my reviews of hair dryers by T3 Micro and how the Shark compares to the very expensive Dyson Supersonic here on the channel.